I'd like to show a little bit of the detail of this blanket chest before it uh, heads out the door to a client. This is a walnut uh, blanket chest. It's about 46 inches wide, 21 inches deep, 24 inches high. Made of solid walnut, figured walnut. It's got some really nice detail, which I'll point out um, in, a, in a minute. But we've got a scallop shell inlay on the front with some banding around it. And there's a matching version of this, a little bit smaller on the lid. Um, OG bracket feet. Uh, to support the frame and the chest. These are these bracket feet were made by made and hand shaped uh, by me. Um, the molding detail that wraps around also uh, hand handmade with with a series of molding planes. Nice hardware uh, breadboard ends uh, for the top to keep the top flat and uh, really nice really nice design and happy with the way it came out. Let's take a closer look at some of the detail. So the real star of the show here is this scallop inlay. Uh, this is made with maple and then it's uh, shaded. There's a maple uh, banding that goes around this. So the way that this went into the chest is um, first we made the inlay uh, and then had to cut it, cut it out using a series of uh, chisels and, and gauges that matched the profile of each of these um, facets of the shell. Uh, and then once the shell was cut out, then did the same exercise to excavate about an eighth of an inch deep um, to set the shell in and make it flush uh, with the top. So pretty intricate work, all done by hand. This radius was done with a, uh, a knife on a, on a radius cutter to uh, incise this cut all the way around. And then a piece of maple was, uh, was set in there, pressed in, glued in, and then uh, planed off so that it was flush. This, in, this escutcheon inlay, again, similarly was, was done with a series of chisels and gouges to create the shape and the recess for this uh, escutcheon to, to go into. Uh, that came out really nice, nice and sharp uh, detail there. We've got uh, handmade molding uh, here to uh, ease the transition between the frame and the chest itself. Uh, again, these are uh, OG bracket feet, uh, which, uh, which I just think are, are beautiful with this uh, design of chest. Um, and then, of course, we've got uh, the lid uh, and the breadboard ends, uh, which uh, we'll take a closer look at now. So you can see here, um, you know, it's a matching design to the front of the chest. And we went a little bit smaller just so that it wasn't, you know, the same on both. Figuring, you know, you're going to see this from a distance and you'll see this, uh, you know, closer up. So, uh, it, you know, just to break it up a little bit, made this one smaller. Uh, if we open it up, um, you can see we've got a, um, a half a solid brass half mortise lock uh, here on uh, the catch plate is up here. And then some of the other features are, uh, let me just adjust the camera here. Um, so we've got a lid stay here so that, you know, the, the chest lid won't overextend and can stay uh, open while you're putting things inside or taking them out. Uh, we put a aromatic cedar floor in there, which is all tongue and groove uh, with a little bit of room to expand and contract with seasonal humidity. And then the other nice thing that we've got going on here. Uh, if we take a look at the sides, you can see that really uh, nice figure that pops in the wood uh, and a nice, you know, sort of straight line that goes right up that mitered corner. And you can see how the grain wraps right around the chest. We've got dovetail uh, dovetails on the back to connect the back to the sides. So it's mitered on the front and then dovetailed on the back. And that's a shot of the back. So overall, came out really nice. Very happy with it. Uh, hopefully, the client will be equally happy. Although she's seen photographs already and she's thrilled. So always tough to let these projects leave the shop. Uh, put so many hours into it and so much detail and <laughs> meticulous work 
that uh, sometimes it's hard to let them go. But this one's on its way to Florida uh, early next week, and it'll uh, be a nice addition to my client's home overlooking the water with that beautiful shell inlay on the lid and on the front. Thanks for watching. Yeah.